Jeez, and welcome, my friends. I'm Hotrak, and we are playing John Schaefer's At the Gates. Welcome back to our Goths tribe. We are doing pretty well, I'd say. Um, we're here trying to uh, increase our range so that we can get that feel of wheat. We're still kind of negative in terms of food production, but we're also making tons of money due to our trade post over here. So, yeah, things are not too dire. I think we're, we're still doing pretty well. Um, uh, could move into the livestock profession, but I want, like, I want to have a new clan so I can chuck that two discipline levels into, an, uh, someone directly so they can train faster. I think we might just go and find ourselves the, uh, f found the honor guards, like, find out how that works. Uh, then you're gonna become the honor guards, like, they're loyal. So they never have desires, and they're always happy, and they're dutiful. So they never engage in feuds with other clans, which is really nice. They never engage in brawls. They're the perfect honor guards for our settlement. Yeah, they're currently our only real trained spearmen, but we can always just change them around if we need them. Okay, so here we're going to build woodworks, get a little bit more wood income going. And you're just going to skip this turn. And then we'll see next turn we're going to have enough weapons to... Increase our range up there even further. I received a gift from Rome. 40 treasury. I have 40 treasure in exchange for my loyal service. Yeah. My services have been great indeed. It's only just that they give me a lot of things. <laughs> for nothing. But yeah, sure. Sure, I, I take it. I mean, what am I to say no to Rome? I, I wouldn't dare. Yes, sir. You, you should give me all your things. So, you're a farmer. Let's just check that real quick. We can... Can we do anything with the berries? Is that... Actually, yeah. Patch of berries. Can be harvested by a gatherer to produce fruit. Can be harvested. So I guess we cannot build anything on it? Is that true? So I guess we should make berries the 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 number one priority if we go for anything. All right, I see how it is. All right then, um, let's build a wheat plantation. Hmm, in three turns we're gonna have honor guards now. I could, I should probably retrain Beta over here. These guys could become traders. What are your traits again? So, you're imaginative. And the impatient. And yeah, having them as traders is going to be helpful. Having them as bards. I mean, it's just six for input turn. It's actually not a lot, if you think about it. Um, getting another 20 bucks per turn is, is crazy, actually. I think we'll do this. I think we'll make another trader. Like, we can just buy all the things that we need. Enter the settlement. Finish our turn here. Okay. So now we're in October. Um, yeah, this is cold now. So our food production has ceased. But we have this tile now. So let's build a wheat plantation. Uh, next summer we should actually be looking pretty strong. So there's our trader. Um, how are you, buddy? Actually, we're gonna wait. It. We're gonna wait like just a little bit because we might be able to take this with our trader. I mean, we could also just take that one. Um, where the stream meets this. But if we build a, yeah, we'll we'll have you wait one turn. Just skip one turn because this will allow us to also boost our range a little bit further. We're not training the clan. Mm, yeah, we still don't have the honor guards. I mean, that's also a consideration to make these guys into uh, into something else. We could fortify this with another 20 weapons, so we definitely have the range. I mean, let's do that too. And let's finish our turn. It might still not be the final spot. Okay, so now we definitely have this. Come down here. We'll build a trading post at the edge of this. Mm. 
yeah, this looks good. Just one more turn till we get the the honor guard tech. Really need more clans. We definitely, desperately need more clans. Just because we don't have enough people to even work all our farms. We need more mines. We need a lot of things. Okay, so now we can train the honor guards. So we're gonna train you. Uh, you've done you've done good things for us as a spearman, but you're gonna you're gonna have the honor of being an honor guard. 25 fame per turn is gonna be sickeningly good for our for our clan. Like, you see that we're producing four per base and 8.7 from the clans. <laughs> and then we're gonna get another 25 from that honor guard. So that's that's pretty cool. Let's study another profession. Mm. So the tillers would be really good for us at some point. I think what we really need. Smelters double your production of iron. Oh, that is that is awesome. But I think going into steel weaponsmiths. Uh, I like the sound of that. We have no more. We have no more moves left. I think beta has been with us. Clan beta has been with us for a long, long time. I think you might have a lot of families. Yeah, nine families. So that's nice. Uh, still no more move points, but we'll produce a massive amount of treasure here with our trading depot, as we're doing over here, so that's good. Um, our borders have actually increased quite a bit. A large patch of berries. It might still be worth it to just build a gatherer and kind of collect these. This area is actually not as important as I thought it would be, but that's okay. <clears throat> we didn't really pick uh, pick the land clean like I thought we might settlement is idle so now our our fame gain should actually be yeah 50 <laughs> fucking hell look at this are you getting you're getting a bonus too i guess because they're happy um produces 25 fame mm, some things don't really add up because we were only making nine and now we're kind of making 50 from clans so there's some hidden modifier in there, but yeah, I'm I'm happy with this. This allows us to attract people much, much quicker. I'm just gonna go for some treasure here. Um, why are we not getting more wood? Just point seventy five in timber? What the heck? Why? Northman, you're corrupt. Uh, you only have two families. Clan has been captured. So, yeah, w w what's the what's the problem with that? Clans and structures that are captured from another faction suffer permanent minus fifty percent penalty to resource production and morale. Captured plans have a red tinted background. Ah, uh, maybe it's not the best to capture them. I mean, it's still free a free workforce, but hmm. And yeah, we're not producing anything up here. Yeah, maybe maybe using those capture clans for stuff like that is is not great. What we could have done is we could probably use them to for the production doubling things. But this might not be an ideal use of our resources. And the problem is if I if I abandon this, then we'll just leave behind a ruin, uh, a wreckage, and we can't get at the at the proper thing. I don't think. Which is kind of nasty. Um, that's a stream below this. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Now let's build a trading depot over here. That's great. Hello. Settlement is idle. Produce more treasure. I have nothing else for you to do. But we get another clan in a turn. Which is great, obviously. Okay, so these guys are local and intimidating. No other clans on the tower may commit crimes. Never engages in feuds. Their local reveals the uh, location of nearby deposits. Reveals the location of nearby deserted settle uh, locations. Okay, so they they want to stay in the settlement. They definitely want to stay inside the settlement. So we probably want to train you in something that you can just do inside. I think it might be an ideal armor smith. Uh, come to think of it, or maybe a steel maker. Steel from iron and coal. We have we're getting like crazy amounts of coal. We need to bump our iron production, but in five turns we get another clan that we can put on that uh, additional iron mine. 
We can also build um, additional slots for people inside our existing structures by like going for apprenticeships. But that's maybe not the most important thing right now. Mm. Steelmaker, it really does sound good. It costs 30 tools to train them. But it's also going to allow us to move our toolmaker up to a way more efficient job. I think this is good. Uh, how much coal are we getting? 4.5. Two steel from four iron. That's going to put our negative down to minus six, though. That is a lot. That is a ton of stuff. Armorsmith produces armor from iron. So, yeah, this is also going to cost us four iron each turn. <laughs> That's also a lot. <laughs> uh, they really, really want to stay inside the settlement, though. Maybe we'll go Tiller instead. Like, just double the production from all the farms. I can still go for the steel and stuff production later down the line, I guess. Yeah. I think that I think that sounds good. We, we're gonna need tillers, and it is a settled, it is a settled thing, right? Yeah. So we'll, we'll do that. Um, food, food is the most important in a way. I mean, we can still buy food with the steel that we produce and all that, but yeah, let's not worry about it too much. Okay, so we have this. And damn it! Now we need to identify this plant. <laughs> Oh well, that's fine. All right, we already have 65 weapons. We could probably fortify this an additional time. Could also fortify this just to grab more land, push Cedric out of the whole area. I'm already controlling a lot of land too. I think we're just going to hold our weapons. How's our score? Two for every turn your tribe start. Minus two. Plus three per clan, plus two per structure built, captured or pillage, plus two per Roman clan killed, two per ship sunk, one per non-Roman clan killed, two per bandit camp destroyed, three per bandit fort slave camp destroyed. Okay. So there, there are forts. There are forts. How do we get to forts? I guess it might be in crafting. Maybe it's military engineers. Is there something like that? Priest, huntsman, guild masters, watchman. Maybe there's no. There's no upgrade for the watchman. We can just construct watchtowers. Cannot fight. Can the honor guards fight? Um I guess not. Do they have like a power a power meter? No, I can't even make him leave the settlement, so that's not a thing at all. Okay, fine, fine. I should know how to act. So why why are you mad? He's producing eighteen again. What do you want? Serious quarrel between Clan Albrecht and Clan Herrick. I gave you I gave you booze. You were happy and now you're unhappy again. Sure, buddy. Whatever. <sighs> People these days. Hmm. We need another another clan to work this mine. Or we need boards to add an apprentice. Each apprentice assigned to the structure provides plus five iron per turn. So, yeah, that's pretty sick. Mm, we need a board maker at some point. We need all the things. I really love how the how the economy unfolds in the game. Like we're getting more and more high level jobs that are interdependent. I really like this. Okay, we now need minus point one, but yeah, we'll have a very low production in terms of wheat from clan I know over here because they're captured yeah nasty well it's good to know I mean you can still be a conqueror but yeah you should probably not expect the people that you conquer to be as good as your own guys I should have just 
have them all put to the sword. So this guy is all thumbs and stoic. Moods always content, never has desires, never engages in feuds. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. Caravan has arrived. Let's see what you have. We have like crazy amounts of valuables at this point. We're like getting them all the time. What do we want? I guess we could buy some pigs. What can pigs do? Can be used in the same way as other animals. Um, can be harvested for meat, uh, parchment, cloth, all animals, but deer can be added to your stockpile. Mm, yeah, I think we should, like, we should buy all the animals that we can get so that we can later down the line use them for things. I definitely want to buy all the cloth that I can see. Just for reasons. And I think uh, it might definitely be time to buy some iron. That's good. Yeah, I can just buy all the things here. That is that is crazy. <laughs> can buy all the alcohol. Hmm, do I want to... It doesn't really hurt. Uh, anything else? Wool. We're selling 30 honey. We don't have any oil yet. Maybe we'll just buy some oil to stay on the safe side. Like, we want to have it. We're going to have it eventually if we go for the flax and everything, but... Okay, we now can train steel weaponsmiths. Oh, wait, what? I guess I was going for the wrong thing. Mm, maybe not, maybe not. Coin makers produce a massive amount of treasure. Training them... Resources produce 100 treasure from 4 coal each turn. What the heck? 100 treasure? <laughs> yeah, I really like this. Things are getting insane. 8 tools from 4 iron. We just need some steel to make this. So let's research toolsmiths. I like it. We should train a clan. So these guys... The only thing that we're really... Eh, hey, we're turning a positive. Uh, we're making a food profit now. Awesome. So you, I think, you have to be a miner. We'll make you a miner, send you into the iron mines over here. And Clan Helma is now a tiller. Oh, that's why we're positive now. Okay. Yeah, sure, I take that. Let's finish the turn. I'd say I'd say things are looking pretty good. Like, we're, we're making profits in all the things apart from iron. So once we have that new iron mine up and running... We're gonna be we're gonna be really well off. I like it. I like it a lot. Three turns until we get that miner. Or attracting clans at a fairly good rate. We still need some some cloth industry, but we're gonna do that once we once we get the flags here and here. So I'm not too concerned about it. And we're making 38 treasure, and as we as we manage to get more people to exploit these gold mines it is only bound to go up it's only gonna go up um that's why the caravans are actually an incredible treasure trove what i should do is i should look at upgrading them okay so buddy hello I'll bring you over here yes we have herders perfect adventurers wants an active profession outside the settlement what is active can be active or settled and grant the ability to harvest or refine resources, explore the map, five enemies. Okay. So, one move point, one vision range. Cannot dig in, cannot encamp. What? Oh, you just don't want to be inside the settlement. That is that is totally fine. The herders starts with four levels in livestock. Adds three sheep to the stockpile. Follow sheep around for as long as we have. And you smell them. You smell like them too. Okay. Sure. So, you smell like sheep, I guess. Okay, I, I understand. No judgment. No judgment. That's just how things go. So, hmm, this is a bit of a problem, though. This is actually quite a big problem. Oh, we're going to fortify this. I guess we're going to try to get those animals, whatever they are, and we'll have them go for the livestock. Settlement is idle. Oh, I want... mm, this costs parchment, training them in a discipline. 
Oh, we can do that for free though. Okay, that's nice. Mm, let's produce some treasure. I'm gonna wait until we're through with the toolsmiths, then go into into the other stuffs. Hey, finally, there's some horses on the market. So buy all your horses. We can upgrade the caravan so that they bring even more stuff. Currents will also sometimes have war horses. Sure, have my money. Have my money. Upgrade. And then I think we'll we'll buy all your sheep. Is there anything else that I want? Not really. I also don't have any more money now, so that's fine. Um Glenn Rolf has become upset. What is your desire? Is it these guys? No, it's all. Oh, these guys. What is your what is your problem? It's become distracted by the idea of switching to an active profession. Yeah, we'll we'll do that. Just wait a second, man. Just wait a, just wait a second. Be unhappy if all you want. I mean, you're not producing anything, so just be unhappy. Whatever. See if I care. We already have 160 weapons. That is that is a crazy amount. I guess we'll just fortify this further. To see what we can get in, inside our range. So that is idle. We should probably retrain this bard into something more useful, like six fames, not really cutting it. We're wasting a lot of production on this. Um, well, maybe I just need to research the higher level jobs for th these trades. Maybe that's a problem. Um, i tell you what though, what are your trades again? Um, you're obsessive and charismatic so we want you in a social in a social trade but for now you're going to become a surveyor it's just going to take you one turn and then we'll we'll send you out and identify some stuff around us okay we're almost down here now let's fortify this oh man it's 50 weapons but then again what else are we going to do with our weapons right so might as well just keep pushing our borders we don't really have the people to settle this so yeah, let's do it. What the heck? Clans are idle. Our surveyor. So you're gonna come down here. You're gonna identify this. Settlement is idle. Um, produce more treasure. Okay, we're almost there for the for the additional iron mine that should kind of solve our shortage here. Let's finish the turn. Oh, weapon production is great at the moment. It's a ton of. Oh, okay, that's that's unfortunate. These guys are dug in. They're totally dug in. Uh, that's not too happy making. We have to remove them before we do anything else. Which means we need someone to be a warrior, which means we have to switch away from our honor guards, which is gonna reduce our fame significantly. And then we have to re-switch them back to being honor guards. I don't really see another way. So, instead of like taking that honor guard position, you're gonna become a spearman for now. It's just gonna take you one turn. Did anyone hear that? I have a bad feeling about this. What? Oh, you're, yeah, you're right, you're adventurous, sure. Mm. It hurts a little bit to switch him to something else, but it's, it's fine. Oh. We'll deal with it. Ansgar, come here. Take these guys out. They need it. We cannot have bandits in our lands. We also have a bit of an undersized military, I guess, considering the, the huge lands that we control. Mm, might be good to maybe... Yeah, now it's 50 turns for an additional clan. <laughs> so we basically killed our our empire growth with this. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, you, my friend... You're gonna go for iron shaft mine here. Uh, that should be good. We actually don't need a huge swath of land if we just can have everything. All the types, because then we can go for boards and just increase these things with apprenticeships. 
even this is like if we add an apprentice here we get an additional six timber so even though the base production is kind of shitty because we have captured people in there um the overall production can still be fine i guess i wonder if the capture thing ever goes away no they suffer permanent minus 50 percent okay i mean yeah you, you probably didn't really want to be part of my clan so i get it you're mad sure let's study some of the high level professions um having lances would be good i think Master Ceremony produces 40 fame per turn. That's crazy. But training them requires fine cloth, oil, and an ennobled clan. Yeah, you can you can do that. You can like go ahead and say, we want to ennoble this clan. Uh, but we need cloth and armor for it. So, yeah. Settlement is idle. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. We did not want to go lances at all. We want to go livestock. Right. To give those additional discipline levels to people that's what we want to do so we can exploit some animals at least produce treasure this is fine so you're gonna identify this deposit finish the turn i feel like we're doing a really good job here it's a great start i'm extremely happy okay so we're gonna give you some additional livestock levels and then we're gonna study more professions. So we want you to be a rancher, so you can construct a stone pasture on animal herds. So we're gonna research that. Need to do some more treasure. Kind of feels futile to produce five treasure with a settlement when we're already making like almost forty each turn. Um, yeah, we're finally positive in iron again. Awesome, absolutely awesome. Could you come down here now? Come on. This terrain is kind of shitty. We could use our survey to build some paths across our empire, just to be able to move from north to south in a reasonable, f reasonably fast fashion. And we have a caravan. Okay, and we have 260 bucks. They're selling war horses. Okay, I mean, don't mind if I do. They're also selling pigs. Um, I guess I'm going to buy the pigs too. Oh, wait, wait. Um, they're selling armor. So I'm gonna buy five so I can make um, the other clan honor guards again. We we're gonna need that for sure. Um, okay, and then for the rest of our money, we're just gonna buy pigs. Increase our livestock. Okay, this is fine. Produce some treasures. We're almost we're almost ready to train people. Do we want to sell anything? I don't think so. Like, we're not pressed for treasure in any... F oh, wait. Um, iron. I can't buy any. What I could do is I could sell weapons and then buy iron with it. I can sell... <laughs> I can sell 136 weapons for 500 valuables. And eh, we'll do that if the price is right. If we see, like, a green thing pop up where it says they have no... They have no weapons. Ooh, we need 80 treasure to upgrade this even further. Awesome. I really like that you can upgrade the caravan. That feels like a great mechanic. Where you, like, if you want to rely on trade, you just upgrade the caravan and upgrade the caravan. Ah, uh, Rome is sending us five food. You think we need that? You think we need your, your five food, Rome? I mean, I guess we do, technically, because we're not making enough food, but come on. Come on, Rome. Uh, okay, that's a large flax field. Awesome. Inside our, inside our lands. I'm liking that a lot. So, yeah, we seize the bandit camp. We're going to pillage it. And what's the one I got down here? We, yeah, we definitely want to see what that is. These animals. We have no more move points right now, but that's okay. So, if we go horse trainers, it's gonna turn horses into war horses. That's that's nice, I guess. Um, we don't have any fishermen currently. We could go for that water-based profession. We can just forage fish. Do we have fish around us? It doesn't look like it. I actually, I, I don't really see any fish. No, no, no. I mean, we probably have to go out to sea. 
But we don't see any fish, so fish is not an option. Um, meat cutters actually just takes meat from animals, so they they kill them. I'm not 100% happy with that. Parchment makers could be really useful. Um, wool collectors, on the other hand, just like take stuff from sheep as is, which I like. And then cheese makers. If we had a salt mine, um, if only we had a salt mine, we could actually go for cheese. Which is like the same thing as the meat cutters, but we can keep our keep our animals indefinitely. Oh, let's go wool collectors first. I feel like that's gonna be a good thing. Hmm. And actually have to end the episode. Okay, so next time we'll uh, kill these bandits, we'll identify these animals. We'll send these guys to work these animals if they're any good. If not, we're gonna try these animals down here. There's also like a neutral um, army on this monastery over here, so... Well, what does the monastery do? Pillaging them provides significant amount of treasure, but lowers your fame, hurts relations with other Christian leaders. Secluded compounds of early Christianity's most pious men. I mean, we don't necessarily need it, but when, then again, we're pagan, so like we can pillage it if we want to. Um, lots of interesting options are still uh, to be explored in this series, so I hope you join me next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.